Hi, guys. Hi, everyone. Okay, so how this is going to work, we're going to run through a bunch of questions. And the way you need to answer is to put uh, your answer in the chat. Now, there's, I will only accept your first answer. So if you have put something in the chat and I haven't said correct, unfortunately, we need to move on. Don't keep putting the second or thirds because we'll tie it up for everybody else. Now, secondly, of course, because we're, you know, we are just so incredible, Google have agreed to shut down all their systems. Maybe not true. Uh, but basically, yeah, please don't go to Google. Do it as you can. And I can tell you right now, some of the questions have been structured so that if you do Google, you are going to get the wrong answers, okay? Um, as Jason said, the, the first prize is a great 100 uh, Amazon voucher, which they've been very, very beautiful to, uh, to put in for us. So without further ado, are we all ready? Give me a yes in the chat so I know you're all ready to go. Yes, Jason's up and ready to go. Okay, guys, here comes question number one. It's about people. Who is this person? It's a bit blurred. First person to jump in can tell me who it is. Who's this person? We're still waiting for the correct answer to come through. Correct. Stop. Maha, well done. I was going to write that down for you. It is Steve Jobs. Interestingly enough, um, it was a nice and easy one to start off. Obviously, the founder and former CEO of Apple. Steve uh, was biologically half Arabic, and his uh, father was Syrian and mother was American, which means one of the largest companies in the world ever created was excitedly done on the back of immigration. I need to get my pen, and I better put the correct name in there. Yeah, it's a bit of a typing contest, Nabil, so make sure you stretch the uh, <laughs> stretch the fingers. I'm just going to go through here and write that down. Question number two. An entrepreneur is someone who jumps off a cliff and builds a plane on the way down. Who said that? Correct, Daniel. It is absolutely Reed Hoffman. Daniel, well done. Some interesting thing. Uh, Co-founder of LinkedIn, of course, as one of the first employees of PayPal, later sold to eBay. Reed is one of the members of a club referred to as the PayPal Mafia. Other members, of course, include Elon Musk, Peter Thiel, and David McCure. But well done, Daniel. Damn it, I know Shama. <laughs> Terribly sorry. Moving on to. Question number three, who's this person? <laughs> no, Peter. Jennifer, I'd love to give you a prize. Jenny, well done. Jenny has got a point. It is absolutely indeed. Advil Lovelace. Now, uh, born in 1815, uh, was the first computer programmer in the world, worked closely together with Charles Babbage, who, of course, is best known for inventing the computer. But very good that our, our first went to Jenny. Here we go for question number four. In a 2015, a tech entrepreneur from the UK made a million, a million dollars by selling pixels for a dollar each to advertisers. What successful company is he now co-founder co of today? Tick, 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 tick. So we got this. <laughs> That's not <laughs> similar, but not exactly the answer I'm looking for, Glenn. Kritka, I will give that to you. Well done. Calm.com is exactly right. Boom. That's right, Jason. You're looking for the right answers here. All right, now let's moving on. Who? Is this 
Blurred Fellow. This is a hard one, absolutely. If they need a hint, I'll give it to them shortly. He's an inventor. I'll give you a hint. He's an inventor of something that we use. <laughs> no, it's not Putin. I like that song. Putin, put out. All right, I'm going to throw a quick one. Are we ready? Everyone listening for the tip? He was the inventor of the World Wide Web. Oh, sorry, we got it. Daniel Levy did get it. There, well done, you. Daniel, right at the post, mate. Good job. It is absolutely Tim Berners-Lee. He was the inventor of the World Wide Web, and he spoke. Uh, we spoke about him in 2018, actually, about how he has been devastated to see his invention twisted into something bad for humanity, referring to, obviously, the Russian Facebook election scandal. All right, moving on. Who is this? Another blurred question. One of the most famous people on the planet. This person was actually once given a formal warning from the University of Leeds. It is Jason Cricker. Well done. It is. <laughs> you were given a warning for the University of Leeds. Whilst the university for using his dorm. <laughs> dorm room to run a business. That is so you. So you, mate. Krikna, you're on the top. Keep it up. Keep up the great work. All right, now we're going to move on to a bit of a general knowledge, guys. Have a quick glass of water. Just take a quick 10-second break. So we're going to sort of get a things. I'm going to have some water as well, obviously, standing in my, my bedroom office. <sighs> Oh, Maha, did she say that? I missed that. I'm sorry, going through the chat. I'll give them both a point, and if there's an issue there, I'll fix it later as we go. All right, guys, here we go. Moving on to section two. What is the friendly name for this number? Another question. What is the friendly name for that huge number? It is correct, Google. It is Google. Daniel, you got yourself another point there, mate. Very, very well done. I want that in my bank balance, but then I'd share it, of course. Um, just like 1,000 is 1 times 10 to the power of 3, a Google is 1 times 10 to the power of 100. And it's not a Google, it's Google. Yes. All right, question number eight. I like these ones. This is a bit of a fun one, a bit of an interesting thing. When Jason and I were working, putting this one together, we forgot what it was, and it took us some time to work it out. So hopefully you guys can help us with this one. Come on. Doesn't want to do it. I'll go down this way. Unscramble this company Name. It was quite funny. It took us about half an hour. I'm sure you guys are going to be quicker to, to pull this one back up. What is the name of this? Un, unscramble this company name. I know, Jason, you did keep forgetting this one and you wrote it. <clears throat> Jan, well done. It is, in fact, alphabet. So, Jan, well done. Jason, if you could record that as well, that'd be great. Yeah, that was tricky. You got that much quicker than us. What year was the first Upstart event hosted? Remember, I'll take the first answer. So if you don't know, it's a good time to take a quick guess because you get one shot. No. Nope. Yes, Gustav. 
Gustav got in there right on the button. 2014 is correct, Gustav. It was held in the music venue called Catalin, actually. Uh, there was around 300 people on the 30th of October. Uh, this latest Upstart event has brought in over an amazing and massive 3,000 people. So it's uh, certainly grown and it's wonderful to see. Who invented the GIF? Four thousand. Wow. Who invented the GIF? What was his name? Gave you a hint there. Steve White is correct, Daniel. Well done. Whilst working on CompuServe in 1987, uh, GIF stands for Graphics Interchange Format, which we all know, and he told the New York Times in 2013 that everyone has been saying it wrong. It's actually supposed to be pronounced GIF, you know, with a, with a soft G, but we, all, of course, all call it GIF. Moving on to our next question. What did the founder of eBay Pierre Omidyas originally sell on the marketplace, which inspired him to build eBay into what it had become. I didn't know this one. This was a good one, one of Jason's. I like this. No, good stuff. Good try. Bananas. <laughs> Glenn, I want to give you a point for that. <laughs> Hats, no. Paintings. Laser pointer. Wow. A broken laser pointer is correct. Kritika, if I'm saying that, hopefully I'm saying that correctly. So Kritika got it. It was a broken laser pointer. There is a common myth in the startup world that Pierre built eBay to help finance uh, to buy and sell PEZ or PEZ dispensers, but this has been confirmed to be a manufactured story made up to make the origins of eBay actually sound more compelling. All right, moving on to question number 12. Hello world is a phrase used by programmers when they write their first lines of code to test a system. Where did it originate from? <laughs> it's not NASA, it's not IBM. Good, good guesses, good guesses, but no, not yet. <clears throat> not WordPress, sorry, Yasmin. We see it on there a lot, of course. A lot of good guesses coming in. Daniel got it. Well done, Daniel. I just missed it was going through so fast. There's so much in the chat, Jason. I'm glad I got you there with your, your mind. The answer is Bell Labs. Now, now known as Nokia Bell Labs, in 1974, an internal memo first coined the term. So really well done, Daniel. All right, guys, another quick break, water break, just a 30-second break. Have a dance. You guys are really smart. It was interesting when I was coming up. I do quizzes for so many levels. Uh, last Christmas, I had to do the, uh, well, not had to do, but I had the, the, the joy of doing the IKEA corporate um, executive quiz. And I can tell you right now, you guys way ahead of them. Well done. All right, moving on. We're going to do a bit of a logo round now. Okay, what I'd like to know, what is the animal seen in this logo? <laughs> what is the animal in this logo? 
Not a fox. Oh, thanks, Glenn. I love you too. <laughs> you rock. <laughs> Nope, not a squirrel, not a fox, not a wolf. Keep going. I'll give you a little hint. Ah, Daniel, got it again. Red Panda is correct. Daniel certainly in the lead at the moment. Very close to my creature. Red Panda. All right, so many people may think this Firefox logo contains a fox, but it's actually was well, supposed to portray a red panda. And the world Firefox is the nickname, actually, of the Red Pandas. Quite interesting. Moving on to the next question. What does the icon in this logo represent? Now, we're not asking the word Cisco. We're talking about the image above the word Cisco. What is it meant to represent? Shami, you're on the right part. Oh, stop. I think that went through. I missed it. Someone said, Jason, did you catch that? I know Rick has got it correct, but I think it is the Golden Gate Bridge, but I think someone put it a little bit up. If you wouldn't mind just scrolling back, Jason, was Rick. Yeah, I thought so too. Rick, we're going to give that to you, mate. You did get that first, confirmed by our, our, our leader, Jason, there. The Golden Gate Bridge in, bridge in San Francisco, of course, with Cisco being created there, uh, and also their name is referring to this, of course. Question number 15, Who, whose logo does this icon belong to? <laughs> Bit of a hint there. Whose logo does this icon belong to, guys? Pied Piper, Eman, well done. Absolutely, Imam. Well done, and good job picking it up. That's, it is definitely, it's the fictitious logo seen in the hit HBO comedy series, Silicon Valley. Question number 16. Why does the Apple logo have a bite taken out of it? Who can tell me that? Thanks, Imam. <laughs> Looks better that way. <laughs> Good one. So who can tell me, why does the Apple logo have a bite? Jenny. All right. I'm going to, Jason, I think that's kind of, they're kind of both. Jenny is to, she said, to make it more noticeable. Like as in, so I think, I think I give a half point to, Katrick and to Jenny on that one because there are many theories about this bite mark which exists in Apple, a logo dating for back. Many believe it was a tribute to Alan Turning, who reportedly committed suicide by biting an apple lace with cyanide, but it's actually to show scale. Um, the original designer of the logo, Rob Yanoff, has confirmed the bite mark was purely there to show people the icon was an apple to, to due to its scale, so it wouldn't be mistaken for a cherry. <laughs> that was a very good one. Number 17, how did the original Twitter bird, no, sorry, how much did the original Twitter bird cost? If 
you don't know, pick a price. You get one, one shot at this, of course. How much did the original Twitter bird icon cost? No Maha, no Jenny. In between both of those? Daniel Levy, 15. Correct. Wow, these are moving fast. I'm glad I've got you there, Jason, as well. Daniel, you are correct. The logo, original logo, was designed actually by Simon Oxley. He's a, a British graphic designer, and Twitter purchased it for the little lowly price of $15 from the iStock image website. Talk about underselling your services. A good tip for some of you who are uh, doing startups, make sure you know your prices. And number 18, whose logo is this? Not Beats, not Napster. Keep trying. They were a part of Rob Start that this year. That's correct. Okay, I might have to give them a bit of a hint here, Jason. I can sort of tell them what they were formerly called, perhaps. Oh, Gustav did get it. Well done. Cytiva. Gustav just got it. Good job, mate. Well done. Formerly, of course, formerly GE Healthcare. Uh, has been a partner of Upstart this year on our health track, which is fantastic. All right, Jason, you've got all the numbers and figures there. Do you want to give me a bit of a, a numbers on yours, see if we can compare? Hey, Greg, right, yeah, good job so far. Well done, everyone. There were some sneaky questions in there. I didn't warn you, it wasn't going to be easy. These were good, actually. They were great. I remember when you were pu putting them together, and it was so funny with the um, the one for the when we had the scramble, and you were like, it took half an hour because you <laughs> to yeah, remember I what it was. It was bugging the head out of me, that alphabet. And then it was like yeah. literally the alphabet, which was every word. Yeah. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> All right, Jason. So, I've got a bit of a leaderboard here if you want a bit of an update. So we've got Daniel Levy is kind of storming ahead with one, two, three, four, five points. We've yep. got Kritika Chopra. Uh, there's still, is there still some questions left or is this the end? Or? Well, if we got how much time we got? We've got four minutes, basically. But I mean, okay. we'll so the numbers. There's a few more bonus ones. Does anyone want to do any more or should we call it a day? What, do you, what does everyone want to do? You post in the chat if you want to go a bit longer. We're happy to go a bit longer. We've got how many more bonus ones have we got in there? Oh, I think we've got three. Three bonus ones. Who wants to do the bonus ones? More, Jenny says. Okay. All right, we're going to do it. Jason, you keep the points, okay? I think that's a, a unanimous uh, keep going. So, okay, we'll keep the points. I'll head off and uh, we'll, I'll be back when you're done. So, Daniel was five. Kritzky was what? Sorry. Oh, he's already gone. All right, let's do this. Question number 19. Unscramble this company name. What's this company name, guys? Correct, Maha. Maha got it just in. TikTok is correct. Good one. A lot of my kids are actually dancing to it now. I can't stop them. But it is fun and infectious. I have been caught. Not that I would admit this. Well, I should probably am in doing it in public. All right. Unscramble this company name. What's his company name? This is a good one.
Alexandra, well done. Sandvik Coromount is correct. Good point to Alex there. All right, guys, we've got, I believe, two more. Here we go. Unscramble this tech person's name. Should be a quick one. <laughs> Correct, Jenny. It is insert indeed Elon Musk. Jenny got a point there. All right. Now, lucky last, which is going to actually perfectly take us to the 30 minute mark of Jason. So then I'll let you give me that war the prizes. And the last question unscramble tech startup person's name. Who is this tech startup person's name? Marissa, ooh, ooh, Rick, Rick, get it right, spell it right. Maya, you got it. <laughs> well done, Rick. Marissa Maya is absolutely correct. We obviously uh, use spell check here, make sure everything's correct. All right, Jason, if you want to come on. Awesome. That was so much fun. I tell you what, that was more fun watching you all answer than doing it myself. I it know. was. I love some of the answers are great. <laughs> <laughs> That was a lot of fun. We have to do this more often. I think this could be an entire upstart sub brand, I think, in the making. I remember we talked um, about doing this maybe a year or so ago. I, I was sharing some of the office space with you guys and we sort of said, let's uh, let's look at this. We obviously right. get busy, but this is fun. All right. Now, do you want to hit us with the, the tally score? Yeah, absolutely. So let's just have a look here. Let's check I get these figures right. So I think we've, we've actually got a tie in second and we've got a clear winner. So You'll all basically get uh, all three of you get Amazon. Uh, you'll get the sorry. You'll get the uh, replay passes, uh, and then the winner will get uh, the replay pass plus an Amazon gift card for hundred euros. So in third place, we're joint third place. We have uh, Maha Harper. Yeah. So virtual clap emojis to you. Um, so well done, Maha. So Maha actually is with Atlas. So she's one of our partners this year. So they've been exhibiting. Uh, so you're interest, interested in construction tech, speak to Maha. She might be around for a bit longer today. Uh, she's a really, really cool person. And thank you, Maha, for supporting at the start of this year as well. It's been, been, been great and uh, you've made all this happen. So I'm super proud, proud and pleased that you actually won the quiz. So, uh, and then in joint, uh, well, joint third place or second place, third place is uh, Kritika. Yes. So three points, a virtual clap for you as well. Well, I'm going to go as one of our volunteers, actually. So she, don't worry, she had not got uh, inside information. It was only me who had this uh, quiz and Greg. So uh, nobody had access to this. There was no cheating involved. And uh, It was sent to me in Spain. I, when, when, we, when we did this, I was in Spain. Actually, yes, I only got back yesterday. I'm sitting in an apartment having to do some, you know, some computer work. It was a great place to send it to me. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Kritika. Um, and so, yeah, and then in first place, we have uh, Daniel Levy. Yes. So, Daniel, what, Daniel, are you still there in the chat? What's your background, Daniel? You, uh, maybe you could post a little quick thing here on uh, who you are. Let's have a look at your profile, see if I can check. So Daniel is a consultant, uh, EIR. What's an EIR? I don't know what that is, but you're a consultant. Uh, you've had 10 startups to date. Oh, that explains it. You've been around a bit in the startup world looking to join a VC firm, uh, so I can understand why you got the uh, Silicon Valley reference there. But uh, well done, well done to you, uh, Daniel. So you'll get the Amazon uh, gift card, uh, and you, all three of you will get the replay passes uh, to access all the content. By the way, if you want to buy one of those, this is a sh shameless plug, but you can buy them on our website. Uh, it's upstart.com, and you just go up to the top replays. So there's 60 euros. You get access to all the content from today. So uh, I just want to say thank you to Greg as well. Let's all do a, a virtual clap as well for Greg because uh, you've done a great job as our quiz. And, for, and for Jason, but the, this is an incredible job to put all this together. I, we have a what's called a backstage where we see all the things that are going on, and I can literally see him zipping around like um, <laughs> backwards and forwards. Guys, I hope you enjoy the, round, uh, the quiz. We'd love to do it again. And uh, that's me. I will say good night. Jason, what's happening now, actually? Thanks so much. Yeah, right now, basically, the last thing of the evening is the late night bar. 
So we're going to close down here. This is this stage is going to become just kind of a pointer to the sessions area. So head to sessions, and there's one last session up there. Uh, you can actually still browse the exhibitors. So if you're interested in checking out the exhibitors as well, that will still remain open with some videos playing in there. Um, but the sessions is where all the people are going to probably be hanging out. And we'll leave that late night session open, basically. A bit, a bit of music in there, just a bit of vibe, and uh, we'll leave it open to probably like 5 a.m. So we'll see how long people want to stay. And uh, yeah, just thank you all for coming to the start of this year. It's been an incredible year this year. We've smashed every figure that was possible to smash. And uh, we've really said a big, uh, well, uh, two fingers up to COVID-19, I think, to say like, screw you, virus, we're going to do this anyway, uh, and do an epic conference all across the world. So thank you all for making that possible uh, this year. And uh, yeah, until next time, we'll be in touch with you all, probably do more events soon, probably round, round about next year. We're planning something even bigger and better and uh, we'll be in touch. Good night, guys. Have See you with the bar.